All right, guys, we're here at Last Fit. We got this Golf GTI, it's a 2013 model. And pretty much, we're gonna show you how to replace the bulbs on this. We're gonna be using our LA G2s, which is they're already installed. Uh, we just decided to go back again and just show you how we did it. It was very easy. Uh, these are your original bulbs that you're gonna pull out from there. Okay, this how your adapter and, and bulb. These are your H7s. These are your halogen bulbs. And this is the adapter that actually helps you power the bulb, okay? So, a standard normal H7 bulb can't just be inserted in here. You have to get a custom adapter or get our LED2 custom bulbs. So let me pull it out real quick. There's gonna be a cap, which is these ones right here. Okay, that goes right behind the actual housing before you get to the actual bulb. So it'll be like right here. So you just, you just pull this out and then you'll have access to your bulb. And just like that, it's just gonna be a twist on, okay? Just so you can see, they have the same design. Both the prongs are in the same direction. The locking keys are the same thing as well. So make sure you put that to the sides. You wanna keep your originals there too. And just line it up and then just twist them. It doesn't take much. Once you feel it, it's, it's topped out. That's where you gotta stop. And then just test it, light them up. Pretty much done. In case the bulb doesn't light up, just give it uh, give it another twist, and it should make contact. Once it makes contact, you'll notice because the bulb will turn on. So pretty much, just to show you real quick what I mean. So right now, the bulb is in the actual socket, and it, and it feels like it's locked, but it's not lighting up. As you can see over here, the bulb is on, but not here. So all you gotta do in this case is give it a little bit more of a turn. And that's it, okay? And in case you still do this and it's still not lining up, the next thing to do would be to check the O-ring on the actual bolt. So let me pull it out real quick. So what you want to look at is this ring right here, okay? Uh, what happens sometimes is that uh, the ring might be a little bit thicker than it's supposed to and it might not work. So all you got to do at this point is just give us a call and then we'll send you replacement rings uh, to the correct sizing so like that you can get it uh, to work correctly. Or what we do is we just send you a whole new set of bulbs like that bulb size are, are working fine. And in case you, we get this replaced and your bulb still does not light up, then we know that the bulb itself is there on arrival. So at that point, just contact our customer service and we'll take care of the rest. So we'll get that back in here. All right guys, and so just like that, you're done. So just remember put back your caps and you should be good. It's the same procedure on the driver's side. Uh, this one's a little bit more of a tight fit. So same way, you take off your cap and then just reach for a bowl, twist it off, take out, and just put the new one back in and you'll be good, okay? If you, if you can't fit here, you sh if you remove this uh, bracket right here, it should give a little more space, just move it to the side and you should put it in there. Another way you can do it too is actually using up the actual headlight and it should give you some room to actually get in there as well. But I was able to get it through here, so you should be able to do it too. But in case you can, at least you have those two options, okay? So thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.